How do I answer to anybody? This your man, Freddy. The ting goes Skitty keep pop pop And the poop poop You're charged with attempted bribery of a federal agent. How do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Bail is set at $3 million. Welcome back, TV buffs and crime drama enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the highly anticipated second season of Tulsa King, the gritty, high-stakes series from Paramount Plus that's been keeping us on the edge of our seats. Whether you're here for Sylvester Stallone's electrifying performance or the compelling story of power, loyalty, and survival, stick around as we unpack everything you need to know about Tulsa King season two. In the box? Nah. This situation is not gonna be controllable for much longer. Sit down! Before we jump into the fresh action of Season 2, let's take a quick stroll down memory lane. Season 1 introduced us to Dwight the General Manfredi, a seasoned New York Mafia capo who found himself in an unfamiliar landscape, Tulsa, Oklahoma, after serving a 25-year prison sentence. Sent by his boss to set up shop in this quiet Midwestern town, Dwight soon realized that his so-called family might not have his best interests at heart. If that to hurt me, I'd be a skeleton. I want to be up front with you. It could get ugly. If they were in the mafia. But if there's one thing Dwight knows, it's how to build an empire from scratch. And Bill, he did, forming a ragtag crew from some of the most unexpected characters, Bodie, the quirky but brilliant dispensary owner. Stacy Beale, the savvy ATF agent with complicated feelings towards Dwight, and many more. Together, they started to carve out a piece of the American dream, albeit a criminal one in the heartland. But as season one wrapped up, it was clear that Dwight's troubles were far from over. There's no such a thing. Is this a one-off? Or one of many? Too soon to tell. And now, let's talk season two. If you thought season one was intense, buckle up because this season cranks up the tension to 11. Dwight and his crew have managed to establish a foothold in Tulsa, but holding onto it is another matter entirely. With new enemies emerging from the shadows, including the Kansas City mob and a powerful local businessman with his own designs on Tulsa, Dwight finds himself in a dangerous game of cat and mouse. I like every bridge I see here just to watch it burn. And he's back. Was there any doubt? We're building something. Sylvester Stallone returns as Dwight, bringing that same grizzled charisma we've come to love. But he's not the only one making waves this season. Martin Starr reprises his role as Bodie, whose loyalty and tech savvy are tested like never before. Andrea Savage's Stacey Beale continues to walk a tightrope between her duty and her personal feelings, making her one of the most complex characters in the series. That's eventually gonna allow us to go legit. We have to think big. What do you know about wind turbines? I know they blow. And then there's Neil McDonough as Cal Thresher, the new formidable antagonist who's determined to push Dwight out of Tulsa for good. McDonough's portrayal of Cal is chilling, he's calculating, ruthless, and always a step ahead, making him a perfect foil for Dwight. Buckle up, here we go. <laughs> this man, Freddy, he's a problem. Tell me about it. He's moving in our direction. One of the standout aspects of Tulsa King has always been its unique blend of crime drama and character-driven storytelling, and season two continues this tradition in spades. The show explores themes of loyalty, betrayal, and the lengths one will go to protect what's theirs. It's not just about physical battles. It's about the psychological warfare that takes place in boardrooms, back alleys, and within the minds of our characters. Competition is healthy. Depends who you're competing with. Is there a problem? You're an outsider. Tulsa is mine. The tone of season two is darker, more intense, and filled with a sense of impending doom. But it's also laced with moments of humor and humanity, reminding us that even in the criminal underworld, there's room for personal growth and redemption if you can survive long enough to find it. The thing is, Things don't really belong to people unless they got the balls. Of 
course, no discussion of Tulsa King would be complete without praising the performances that bring this gritty world to life. Sylvester Stallone continues to dominate as Dwight, delivering a performance that's equal parts intimidating and vulnerable. His portrayal of a man trying to balance old world loyalty with new world challenges is both powerful and poignant. To protect him, you got a sense of humor sometimes. We might have some trouble coming our way. We want to build a future, you gotta... But let's not forget the supporting cast. Martin Starr as Bodhi adds depth and unexpected humor to the series, while Andrea Savage and Neil McDonough bring their a game, adding layers of complexity to their characters. The direction is sharp, with each episode building tension and suspense, making it impossible to stop at just one episode. I know what you want. You have terrible taste too, man. <laughs> We're in this together. When is it gonna... So, where does that leave us at the end of season two? Without giving too much away, let's just say the stakes have never been higher. Dwight's empire hangs in the balance, with enemies closing in from all sides. And with unfinished business back in New York, we can only imagine what fresh challenges await him in the next chapter. I'd like to get you to dance with me. Okay. Tough guys don't dance. Why are you wearing your pajamas? Come on, go home and get a suit. Whether you're a diehard fan of crime dramas or just someone who loves a good story, Tulsa King Season 2 is a must watch. It's got everything action, drama, complex characters, and enough twists and turns to keep you guessing. So, mark your calendars for September 15, 2024, because this is one season you won't want to miss. This is some conflict resolution. Nothing resolves a conflict like a good smack in the chops. <laughs> Tulsa King, new season streaming September 15th, exclusively on Paramount Plus.